morning students welcome to our next lecture of data structures and algorithms in today's topic we will study about representation of binary tree in our previous video uh, in our previous videos we studied about the tree tree introduction tree terminology and introduction of binary trees so today we will study about representation of binary tree that is how a binary tree can be represented a binary tree is the uh, let me uh, uh, again conclude that a binary tree is a tree in which each node is having at most two branches at most two branches means any of the node present in binary tree can have at most two branches that means either zero branch or one branch or two branch but no not more than two branches are allowed if any of the node have two branch more than two branches then that tree will not be considered as a binary tree so that was uh, so this was the basic introduction about binary tree now we will study about the representation of binary tree that is how we can represent a binary tree there are two ways of representing a binary tree first one is sequential or array representation and second one is linked list representation since uh, from starting we are always studying that array is mainly used to store one dimensional data into memory one one dimensional data into memory array is mainly used for storing one dimensional data in memory so array representation or sequential representation of tree uses array to store the nodes of the tree nodes of the tree that means the nodes that are present in the tree are represented using array using array and in that into sequential form and though and that array uses one dimensional data to store the nodes of the tree so uh, let's understand this sequential representation or array representation using this example this is an example of a binary tree the, we are having this a binary tree let's first check whether it is a binary tree or not m is the root node of our tree m is having two children n and o further looking down the levels n is also having two children p and q and o is having r any node not a single node in this tree is violating the property of binary tree so all the nodes are fulfilling the property of binary tree so it is a valid binary tree now we will see that how we can represent this binary tree into sequential representation or array representation we will study that first of all what we will do we will give numbering to our nodes numbering to our nodes means we will assign numbers to our nodes starting from the root node to the last node last children of this binary tree now we always know that the array the address of the array always starts from zero so for this sequential representation or array representation what we will do we will always start our first node with zero that's why we have represented here this root node with zero zero so we will always always keep this thing in mind we will always represent root node with zero okay after representing root node with zero we will move towards the left side of the root node and assign next number to it that means on marking m that is our root node with zero we will move towards the left side of m that is n and we will number it as 1 
then we will move towards the right side of root node m and number it as 2. Now this uh, level has completed means the both the left child and right child of root node are visited what we will do we will again move towards the left side of the first child left child of root node that means what we will do on completing this next level uh, on completing the, this next level we will move towards the left hand side of the again further down the level so after numbering 2 o as 2 we will move towards the left side left we are having p we will number it as 3 q as 4 then we will move towards the right side of root node m right side of root node m since no left child is present no left child of node o is present so we will not consider its number and then we will move towards the right child of node o and we will number it as 6 so since no left child of o is present we will not represent its number but we will skip that number now this was the this was the numbering of the nodes now how we can represent these nodes into the array we will see that we, what we will do we are having a memory and in mem in that memory we are having an array we will store these nodes of this binary tree into this array what we will do we will write down the address of the array address of the nodes of the that we want to represent in our array now corresponding to this address what we will write we will write down the nodes which we have numbered 0 0 number is corresponding to m so we have written here m 1 corresponds to n 2 corresponds to o so we have written here o 3 corresponds to p 4 to q 5 since no left child of o is present that's why we have not written anything here this is our empty this place of our array is empty because this is empty left child of node o that's why we have kept this empty next one address 6 corresponds to node r so here we have written r so in this way we can represent our binary tree using the array so this is our array representation of binary tree now coming towards the linked representation second way of representing binary tree is the linked representation as we have studied earlier a linked list contains a node in a linked list contains two fields first field denotes the data value and second field always denotes the pointer that points towards the next node but while representing binary tree we are having a node in linked list we will represent a node in linked list and this node contains three fields this node contains three fields F uh, first field will always contain the value of the left child of the root node second field will always contain the data value of the node and third field will always contain the value of right child of the node value of the right child of the node so for representing binary tree in linked list representation what we will do for uh, we will represent a node we will represent a node in linked list form and that linked list will use a node 
having three fields. First field will contain the value of left child. Second field will contain the data value and third field will contain the right child value of the node. So here we are having, we, are, we can explain this node using this example. Here main root node becomes the data node, root node. Considering data as the root node, on left side of the root node that is data, we, we will represent the link of the left child and on the right side of the root node we will represent the link of the right child. So this diagram easily describes the meaning of this node. Data is our root node, the left child, the left side of the root node data will always represent the link of the left child and right child and right side will always represent the link of the right child of the root node. This was the basic, uh, this was the basic representation of linked list. Now we will understand this linked list representation of binary tree with an example. Suppose that we are having this example. In this example, we are having 99 as our root node. We are having 99 as our root node. Root node, this root node has two children. First one is 88 and second one is 77. Further moving, 88 has also two children. 66 and 55, we will number it as 3 and 4. Moving towards the right side of root node, we are having 77. 77 does not have any left child. So we will avoid the numbering of this left child. We will make it empty and 44 is the right child of this node 77. Now how we can represent this binary tree into linked list representation is shown here. This is our linked list representation of binary tree. In this 99 is our root node. That means 99 is our root node we are representing in the middle field of the linked list that we have discussed here. Middle field will always contain the data value. Now the left child left side of this data field will always point towards the will always contain the link of the left child. So according to that example the left child of 99 is 88. So we have represented 88 in the data field and its left pointer is further pointing towards the next data that is 66 and right is pointing towards right data 55. Similarly, 99 on, on visiting towards the right side of this root node 99, we are having 77. So, right child pointer will always point towards the right side, right side data of the binary tree. It is representing 77 as its data. Further, since no left child of 77 node is present, so we will mark it with cross, we will mark it with x because no left child is present of 77, that's why we are marking it with x, that means no left child of 77 node is present and the right side right pointer of the node 77 will point towards the right child that is 44. Since no further nodes are available, so the left pointer, left child and right child of these last nodes will be pointed using, will be represented using the x. So in this way, we represent the binary tree using linked list. This was the linked list representation and before that we have discussed this array representation. I hope you all have understood. Thank you very much.